not talk to your mother that way. None of your business, David, so butt out. Okay. I thought you wanted to hear what a great mother you've been to me, Mom. Will you always make sure you put me first, unless, of course, Jessica, Charity, Noah, John, Ethan, or anyone else in Harmony is having a bad day. You always take care of my needs, unless somebody else is getting your attention first. You always make sure you take my side when it comes to people I love, unless, of course, other people love the same person that I do. And Miguel that... loves Charity. No, I'm not finished yet, Mom. Last but not least, you're so sensitive to what it's like being your daughter. I mean, how many other kids get to have mothers with premonitions and amnesia that have husbands that pop up out of nowhere? I mean, what, do you have any more of these in your past anywhere? Okay. I thought you were going to stay out of this, David. Although, come to think of it, you really do have some rights, considering you're the only one around here with a legal relationship to my mother. Did it ever occur to you how difficult it would be on me to find out that I was your bastard? Hey, I will not have that language in my but house. Bastard's the right term for what I am, isn't it, Mom? Just like bitch is the correct term for you. Okay. Get your hands off me. Hey, stop that. Stop that. Right now. Stop it. <laughs> Go off me. What, so you can hit your mother again? No bloody way. Grace, are you all right? Okay, you hit me. Mom, you hit me. How dare you hit your own mother? Go off me! No, you know what? You're gonna listen to what I have to say. I do not have to listen to you. You are not my father. You're nothing to me. Just because you knocked up my mom 20 years ago does not mean you can discipline me. I'm not trying to. I just want you to see that you are throwing away something very precious. Your relationship with your mother. Grace loves you so much. Oh, well, she sure has a funny way of showing it, doesn't she? She always picks on me. She never takes my side. Have you ever stopped to ask yourself why? Just shut up and let me go. You're hurting me. God. Listen, Kay, please don't alienate yourself from your mother. Why didn't you try listening to her? Maybe, maybe you learned something. Mind your own business and leave me alone. You know what? Grace's happiness is my business. And before you storm off in a little snit, just remember that a lot of kids grow up without mothers. You should count yourself lucky. I mean, look at John. He'll never even know his real mother. I thought my mother was his real mother. Or is my dad right about you? If he'd been lying the whole time about being married to my mom before she had amnesia. Well, David, have you been lying about John being my mother's son? I'm not lying. I just meant that John has missed out on so much with Grace. Because of her amnesia, they've never been able to build a history together the way you and your mother have. Yeah, well, my history with my mother is over. Kay. 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 What the hell are you doing? Get your damn hands off my dog. I can explain. Oh, yeah? I'll be the judge of that. 